Hello everyone, this is day three of Delirium and I wanted to give an update as to how the Summon Stone Golem build uh, Elementalist is doing. Currently level 90, I leveling has been pretty smooth so far, I haven't had too many issues with it. The character as of right now only has 12 deaths, so pretty minimal amount of deaths. I think two of them were while leveling, three of them was when I rolled a 100% delirium map and it was absolutely insane. So overall, I really only died about five or six times um, during maps and it's just been to random one shots. So, um, and delirium is pretty rippy, so it hasn't overall been too bad. In terms of my gear, I actually already have basically an end game setup. I got really lucky at the start of this league I think the first 12 hours I found three Exalted Orbs, and then the next day I found a Soul Taker, and just a couple hours ago I six linked my Brass Dome, <laughs> so in under like 400 fusings. So in terms of RNG, the the leak has been um, pretty pretty good to me thus far. So I'll run a map here. Oops, not this one. Um, to, sh to show how it's been going, and I'll do I'll do this Al Hesman's villa map. There's been some some changes to the the build since my first video, my first two videos I made. So I'll go over that in a second here. But I figured you guys wanted to see some gameplay, so I will throw this up first. Doesn't really have too many issues with delirium at all. Um, it gets through it pretty pretty simply. I kind of just run around aimlessly and just let my stole golems do the work, and I location occasionally cast convocate or ooh that was a good hit or apply a um, a curse on hit if it's necessary. Um, the the main thing that has been really crappy with this league has definitely been the, the performance issues but nothing really I can do about that so I do have both my cold iron points as well I have my six links so, so the damage you're seeing here is is definitely kind of more end game end game damage if you're kind of thinking about starting this it probably won't look this good, but if you run, I guess if you run a tabula, it will. However, your your defenses might be a little um, a little off. So that's still going here. We're at four. I think the most I've ever gotten was like seven from Delirium in terms of the rewards. My goodness, this lag. Yeah, I think I've been averaging around 30 frames per second throughout this um, throughout this league, which definitely definitely hasn't been great. Ooh, that's a good hit there. But yeah, the Stone Golems put in some pretty darn good work. I'll show um, my my gear here. Let me actually just get to the boss, and then I'll proceed to explain the changes and what I'm running that's a little different from the, the previous two videos I made about the build. I did flip my gems quite recently, so I think actually a lot of my gems are still level 16 and 17 with 20 quality. So the damage can actually s still go up um, quite significantly here. Alright, that's that guy, and then let's do this guy. Yep, pretty easy. So that was a level I level 76. 
Really, really no issues there. Let me just throw this stone in. Or wait, hold on, where'd it go? Oh, it go. Anywho. Alright. I'll finish clearing this map in a sec. So the changes with the build, so yeah, obviously the build's running pretty well. In terms of changes, I mainly I'm running one of the large cluster jewels. So I got Feasting Fiends, Primordial Bond, Rotten Claws, pretty much all good ones. Feasting Fiends is kind of whatever, but I figured for two points, doesn't hurt. It gives them some uh, some leech as well. Primordial Bond, Rotten Claws, those are the, the good ones. I don't anticipate I'll ever run more than one cluster jewel. I'm still waiting to get the Voices jewels because as of right now, I just have Primordial Harmonies in here. Ideally, what I want to do is I want to get voices and then put three primordial harmonies in the voice, as in my last two videos explaining that. Uh, as of right now, um, though, I'm just uh, alloc allocating kind of my points wherever. It's just like this life and armor I definitely don't want in the long run. In terms of the auras, so one thing that did change was <laughs> it was actually a bug, so you you weren't supposed to be able to run skitter bots with primordial chain so they patched that i totally mixed uh missed that in the in the patch notes i didn't even read the, the bug fixes so kind of my bad on that but i'm running kind of the same setup flesh and stone pride dread banner with precision now i just threw in precision because why not i had some extra mana left over so flesh and stone linked with mame um, generosity with precision and dread banner my six link setup uh, as in the videos again it's um, summon stone golem impaled minion damage multi-strike melee fizz brutality um, pretty good stuff there again I'm not running uh, grave intentions anymore because brutality makes grave intentions kind of useless because unholy might doesn't do anything so I just um, allocated the uh, ravenous horde with my anointment, and I'm not running any um, the Thread of Hope anymore. So, yeah, overall, that's how the build's going. At this point, I'm looking probably to start upgrading my rings. My my gloves are pretty good. My boots are good. My belt's all right. I crafted this belt myself. Got my two cold iron points. My helmet's okay. I'm still looking for an enchantment with either Flesh Offering or the summon stone golem buff effect so one of those two would be pretty nice and from that point on i'm probably going to just start looking at upgrading some gems to awakened that's um probably the next thing i need but yeah overall this leak star has been i i would say widely successful i did not think i would have this level of gear by the th morning of the third day so yeah pretty insane um, got quite lucky. Anyways, um, that's about all I got. I'll probably make another update video in maybe like a week or so. Um, at this point, I don't think I'll get too many upgrades to the gear. So I will um, maybe make an update uh, a little later. So I hope you guys' Delirium League starts are going as well as mine is. And I will um, see you guys on the next one.